So move over, Alex Trebek. There's a new game show on TV, and for contestants of Paid Off, there's a lot at stake. My show, Paid Off, is the only game show working to end the student debt crisis. You could just call it Who Wants to Be Financially Stable? True TV's newest series is just like any other game show, except at the end of each episode, this one pays off the winner's student debt, up to $50,000 worth. Now, some have argued it's insensitive and that it makes light of the some 40 million Americans with tens of thousands of dollars in debt. Sensitive, schmensitive. At least they're doing something about it, which is more than I can say for Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. Mrs. DeVos, have you ever taken out a student loan from the federal government to help pay for college? No, I have not. Have any of your children had to borrow money in order to go to college? I'm a very wealthy woman. I've had more salmon than you could ever imagine. And I don't know what a school is. Okay, so maybe that wasn't really Betsy DeVos, but rather comedian and stone native Chris Fleming. But in a real hearing, when lawmakers asked about a new policy to take student loan oversight away from the states, she wasn't much more helpful. You have issued a declaration to preempt state regulations on companies that collect student loans. This is your department. Did you do it? To not layer another layer of bureaucracy. So you made the decision. Sounds like a yes to me. Coming from the woman who just today proposed rules that would make it harder for students who were defrauded by their schools to get their federal loans erased. It's expected to cost those students a total of $13 billion and a real kick in the you-know-what for those 40 million Americans who carry more than $28,000 in debt on average, which can delay all sorts of important milestones, like buying a house, having kids, or chasing a dream job which may not pay as much as a second or third choice. And since DeVos is no help, students are forced to turn to places like Paid Off. But since the show can only help so many people, I've come up with a list of some other ways to get in the black. You could always drive for Uber or Lyft. You'd only have to clock around 63 hours a week to zero out those loans within a year on top of your other jobs to pay for food and a place to live, of course. Or if you want to make it all up in one go, the word on the Internet is you can make up to 200 grand per kidney on the black market. Pay for you and a friend. Or you could go the Breaking Bad route and start cooking meth at home. One dealer told New York Magazine he made more than 800000 bucks a year until he was sent to prison in 2004. So it's a real high-risk, high-reward situation. But if that's not your speed, you could always give Betsy DeVos a call and urge her to act on student loans. And maybe, just maybe, the Federal Department of Education would, for just this once, act on behalf of students, not lenders.